Data management is kind of going differently from the information application side, I think. Um, on the data management side, the trend seems to be more towards the management and less about integration technologies. So people are really focusing on governance and stewardship and, and trying to get a handle on managing the data. But at the same time, information applications and technologies that use data are exploding and making it harder to manage. And so it's created sort of a stress in the system where people are putting in new, you know, big data systems where they're dumping lots of data in almost completely unmanaged, but then some of that information makes its way over to the usage side and then it isn't well managed and it doesn't integrate very well. And so we're almost creating new sets of silos to manage in the environment. Most organizations, they've been struggling with just the simple size of data warehouses. And then you throw these new systems with new technologies that require new skills. And the integration of that into an enterprise is really a, a challenge. You know, the, the skills gap, the technology gap, uh, the architecture gap between how things are designed, where to put it in the organization, who's going to do the work, how it's going to fit, and how you'll sustain that. Because it's easy to build some of these things but then you have to maintain them afterwards and that where, th that's where you can really run into some problems. Today we have a lot of silos and, uh, and with these silos the effort that's involved to physically integrate all of them and build some giant data warehouse that's going to store every possible thing, it's not really feasible. Um, the data warehouses that have been built typically hold a portion of the organization's data and it's the high value things. And there's a diminishing return as you get to things that are used by fewer people, aren't used that often, or have questionable value because they've never been used. Virtualization can fit in by bridging between analytic systems or reporting systems and these other applications, or just building proof of concepts to prove out the value before doing it without going through this months-long effort of, of work to discover, analyze, integrate, and build applications. Uh, the other area is we're building all these new data silos. So we've got um, uh, people putting in, you know, say a Hadoop cluster for particular sets of data or particular uses, and that doesn't talk very well with the tools that exist on the front end of systems. And your only option there is to try and get by with the minimal integration that you've got between, say, a, a client system that an end user can use as opposed to a, a technologist and these new technology systems. Or you take the data from those things and figure out how to get it out of those and into a database which is designed to work with these client tools. So the, the federation comes in and allowing you access to both with the same set of client tools. And that last mile of client delivery is the biggest part of the problem for um, analytic access by you know, generally people who just want to consume the data. You know, I'm not really talking about hardcore data science analyst type people. Yeah, if I had any advice to give to people, especially data practitioners, it would be to uh, try to expand their horizons. You know, I'd say most data practitioners, probably 90%, fall into the BI, data warehousing, data management world, you know, maybe 10% fall into this emerging tech sort of big data world. And um, there's a big skills difference between these things. Uh, you have to start looking at how these technologies work and how they're different from these SQL-based databases and how the tooling works. And so it, it's kind of widening the circle around some of the data integration uh, practices and, and and technologies. Again, expand some of the things that you take for granted now, like you're going to have a single big box to run a database. And it's just, that's not the world anymore.